I had somebody in the room who let me know that Jamie had a blood clot in his brain after he got. How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan. And today we got to talk about the condition of the actor, Jamie Foxx. Now you guys may or may not know who he is. I think he's best known for portraying Ray Charles in the movie Ray an amazing movie, by the way, he did a fantastic job. He's been out on the entertainment scene for many, many years. He was on and live in color back in the nineties. He's been in many movies. He's a comedian, a singer. He is a multi-talented person. Now, back in April, it was announced that he suffered a medical scare, a medical episode, and nobody, at least in the public, has seen him since. This is back in early April of this year, 2023. We're now in June. Nobody's seen them publicly. Now, we're hearing all kind of things about what's going on. Okay, he's in the hospital. He's in the coma. He's paralyzed. He's blind. All kind of stuff. You're hearing from his daughter talking about, oh, he's doing very well. He's recovering. Everything's all good. There was a message put on his Instagram back in May talking about, hey, we're doing well. I'm doing good. But one thing that we have not seen or heard is from Jamie Foxx directly. We're hearing from third parties, but we're not hearing from him directly. So it was like, okay, what's going on? It's been about two months now and nobody's seen you publicly. What's happening? Now, a celebrity blogger by the name of AJ Benza says that Jamie was injured by the Vax because there was a requirement for movies that he, that he was in with Cameron Diaz and maybe he didn't want to do it or whatever, but he gets the shot. Then he gets injured afterward. And now he's partially paralyzed and blind. Now, before I go into the video of that, I just want to say this is all speculation. It is a rumor. That's what he's saying. I don't have any way to verify this. So nobody could say, Oh, ABO, you're spending misinformation. That's not true. That's not verified. All I'm doing is talking about different reports. I'm seeing it reported all over the place on some of the smaller blog sites. I'm seeing a lot of inside people talk about this. And all we really can do right now is speculate because nobody's seeing Jamie Foxx. We're hearing different reports from different people. We're hearing from his daughter. We're hearing from insiders. But nobody's heard from Jamie. And it's been Two months now. So what's going on? Where is he? What was the episode? What caused it? He had prior conditions. I think it might have been with his brain even before this whole alleged shot thing happened from what I'm reading. But before I go any further into it, let's go ahead and roll the clip. If you want to see it in full without my commentary link, as always, will be in the description. If you're on IG, visit the link in the bio. Go to the corresponding article on the website. But without further ado, let's go ahead and roll it. I had somebody in the room who let me know that Jamie had a blood clot in his brain after he got the shot. He did not want the shot, but the movie he was on, he was pressured to get it. This movie he's doing with Cameron Diaz. And I'm thinking, is that why he blew up on the set a week before this medical emergency happened? Is that why he fired three or four people because he just had had it with these mandates? I don't know. Now, let's pause for a minute. Okay, this is um, A.J. Benzer. He is a very well-known Hollywood blogger, been around for a very long time. And, of course, we have Dr. Drew over here on the left. Now, if you Google Dr. Drew and A.J. Benzer as it relates to this case, what you're going to see is that they're talking about, oh, it's propaganda, it's anti-vax propaganda. That's going to be what you see, especially with Dr. Drew. Dr. Drew's really been talking about a lot of the vax injuries, the things that have happened. And there are certain people who don't want that message to get out there. All right. And you know what? Here's one more thing. If Jamie was injured by the Vex, that could be a reason why his condition has been so under wraps. You see, because if you have a celebrity like Jamie Foxx who says he was injured by the Vex, or if it got out that he was injured by the Vex, that's going to discourage a lot of people from getting the Vex. And it will also raise alarms like if you have any kind of medical situation going on that could be similar to what he experienced then the vets could be blamed so there could be a bigger purpose beyond jimmy fox wanting to be private 
that this information right here might not really get out there to the general public. And there's also a big reason why if it does get out there, then it's censored, then it's kind of throttled and you're not able to see it. But again, this is all speculation, all rumors. I don't know anything, but I'm going to give you the information so you could do your own research, make your own mind up and don't, and don't take my word for it or anyone else's. Let's keep on going. But what I found out from the man in the room was that uh, the blood clot in the brain caused him at that point to be partially paralyzed and blind. Because if you read into what they were saying early on, he's communicating with us. That doesn't mean talking. That could be anything. It could be, you know, writing, yeah. sign. I had somebody in. So that's the video right there. Again, I'll, I'll link to that in the description. There's more from this interview, of course. He spoke about his girlfriend had a miscarriage and a lot of other things that we could talk about at a different time. But that is the video right there. And there's plenty of sources and whatnot that I'll link to in the description if you want to read it and see it for yourself and share it to your friends and family. But I think that's plausible. I think it is because what other reason do we have for a two month absence? We're talking about a celebrity, Jamie Foxx. This is just not some random person. This is a world famous guy who makes a living by being out there in the public, doing appearances, doing TV shows. Uh, he, he had a talk radio show back in the day. Allegedly, he was filming the movie with Cameron Diaz. He's got all kind of stuff going on. So for him to be gone for two months, and there's no real explanation why, I mean, what he said just kind of fits. And you know the best way for this rumor to be substantiated or eliminated? Will be for Jamie Foxx to speak out about it. Hey, like go on Instagram, go on Twitter, what and show your face, record a video talking about what's happening. I think if we see him right now in his current condition, people are gonna be like really afraid, really scared, like, oh man, he's really in the bad shape. Maybe his family wants him to recover, if that's possible, and then you'll be able to see him. How long will that take? It's already been two months. Is it going to be two, three, four, five more months, a year until we see him? Like, what's going on? And in that period of time, if we're not seeing him, then there will be people who leak information, people that see him in the hospital or wherever he's at right now in the recovery center. Like, last I heard, he was in some kind of physical rehabilitation center in Chicago. That's what I heard. Some kind of place like that. But why Chicago? Wasn't he in L.A. when it happened? Was he in Chicago when that happened? I don't really know. But I think there is something here. Uh, the Vex injury story to me makes sense. And we've seen this quite a bit. You know, I've heard a lot of stories from people, you know, military, a lot of these young guys get into Vex. And then whether by coincidence, happenstance, or as a direct result, two weeks later in the hospital with, with blood clots and things of that nature, similar things that others have reported as a result or after at least getting the shot. Now, if you're a healthy 18 year old male with no problems, you're in your peak physical condition, going to the military, you're passing the physical test with flying colors. There's no problem. You could do push ups, sit ups, you're swimming, you're running, you're jumping, doing all that. Then you get the shot. And then at, at, after that, in two weeks, you're in the hospital with serious problems that you did not have before you got to ask yourself what's really going on but i think i'll leave that right there for now and what say you do you think that aj benza is correct here about the whole vex injury story as it relates to jamie fox whatever your thoughts are let me know in the comments below you guys know where i'm at i think that this story makes sense and if that's not the reason why we've not seen jamie fox in two months then what is I mean, we're hearing, again, we're hearing from second, third, we're hearing from other people about Jimmy Fox's condition, but at a certain point, it all has to be speculation unless we hear from Jamie Fox directly. Put him on camera and let him talk. Maybe he's not able to do that because he's in a very bad way. He might be able to do little stuff here and there, but he's not the same as he was. And again, I think there could be a, 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 an interest from a higher power to keep this story under wraps because of what's going on behind the scenes. But whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. 
If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace. Hey.